Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, July 13th, 2019. We are on week number 32 of our keto lifestyle. Wow, 32. Yeah, 32 weeks in the books. Good. That's great. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's good. Been um, a great day. Um, went to Cedar Point yesterday. Had a lot of fun. You can see, I'm sure, a little bit of redness on sun. my face. Got yeah. a little bit of sun. A little bit of a farmer's tan. That's okay. But it's okay. It was really fun. Coasters were super fun for me. Um, I fit in I fit in the coasters really well now. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's a nice plus. <laughs> it was a nice plus. So um, because I'm smaller here, when you have something in your pocket, the harnesses come down and they touch my thighs. So I didn't have to worry so much about things coming out of my pocket. Whereas before, <laughs> it didn't come anywhere near to touching my thighs. So... Hmm. Little funny things. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Little non scale victory, right? Non scale victory. Oh, another non scale victory. We went, uh, I had to get some more pants the other day, and uh, I realized I'm thinking, man, I can't believe I haven't budged. I bought a size six. That's yep. kind of neat. You're still changing a little bit. Yeah. You still know, changing. when we do those measurements, I'm seeing that. I mean, your weight might not be going down because there's not much more for you to lose right. but uh but your art your body is changing stuff yeah so that's cool yeah it's pretty neat um certainly didn't go down this week um <laughs> well you also were at a park running around drinking gallons of water because yes. you were sweating and i'm still my my rings are, aren't budging right now so yeah. i think i'm still uh retaining some of the water i think your fluid might even change tomorrow because of you just got home at 3 a.m last night 2 a.m <laughs> so yeah uh, but it was fun. I had a great day with my daughter and her best friend. So super fun. Bill held down the port with Julia. Yeah. And, um, we had fun today. Yeah. We, we had fun yesterday. I yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I took her to Arby's and she got her little chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. She had fun. Good. Took her to church. She had fun at the little church group thing. In, in the convertible. Yep. We went in the convertible. And we took the long way home. We just drove the slow streets and... Enjoyed having the top off. She had a blast. Yay. All right. So let's get into our week 32. All righty. Uh, I started out last week at what? Three. I can't even. 335.2. 335.2 last week. This morning weighed in at. 334.8. Oh, I was say, I don't know where it is on the sheet. Right there. 334.8. Yes. So I'm down 0.4. Yep. I guess it's better than being up 0.4. Exactly. I did. Um, I did stick to my carb manager like I always do. Anyway, uh, the one day I had planned on fasting, uh, I ended up turning that into an all mad day. Um, I made some chicken. I was actually getting ready for my chicken recipe thing that I'm going to do, and I think we're going to try and get that in today yes. or tomorrow to release. I'm hoping that's the. I had to get some stuff. I needed swerve brown sugar was one of the things I needed. So I had. We went to three different stores who could not find it. So I just ordered it on Amazon like I always do. And uh, and it came in the mail. It just came um, Thursday. Yes. So today's Saturday. I'm going to try and get that done today. Super simple recipe. It's what I put on my chicken all the time. So, uh, but yeah, I had to wait for that to come. And uh, now I just want to make that video and probably try and release that tomorrow on Sunday. Yes. Yep. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, I'm down 0.4 uh, for this week. And where are you at? Uh, last week I weighed in at 132.8, lowest I've been, <laughs> and this morning I weighed in at 135.8, so I'm up three pounds. So 132.8 to 135.8, so you went up three. I did. Well, you might have some of that water, like you said, because you drank water yeah. nonstop yesterday. My, my rings are not even budging. Normally, they're falling right off, and I, it's not even budging off my fingers right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a, definitely a different kind of day. So total since December 1st of 2018, I've lost 47.8 pounds. Mm -hmm. You have. And total since then, uh, you have lost 44.4. That's really good. It is really good. <laughs> so together, that would be 92.2 of this math is, right? It is. That's pretty good. I yeah. still want to hit 100. I still want to get out of the 330s. I'll try and help you a little so bit. So that's my goal. <laughs> that's my mini goal. You know, you, yeah. you got to set mini goals. Absolutely. If you go too big, it's going to be overwhelming. You got it. You so for me, this. all I got to get out rid of is 4.8 pounds and get out of the 330s and I'll be happy. Yeah. And I'd like to get that 92.2 up to 100.0. But then you can't gain any weight, okay? 
<laughs> me too. That, that goes for I me know, too. I know. I was so bummed when I got on the scale this morning. I was yeah. like, ah. Oh. But like I said, you know, um, just water weight, I'm sure, because we drank a ton. It was a beautiful day yesterday. Um, weather was cooperative. No rain. Partly sunny. Had a little bit of a breeze. I think it was almost like 70, 78, 79. Uh, so it was a really nice day. Good. I'm glad you had fun. That was what it was fun. all about. That's why I bought the tickets. Yes. <laughs> so you guys could go and have fun. It was so, a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah, um, anything else to talk about on this sheet? This is just all our weights and the dates and stuff, right? Right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to work on that recipe for the chicken now that I finally have my brown sugar swerve. Yes. And uh, that's one of the ingredients. And uh, I'll, I'll go up and throw it up together. I, I'll admit I had to um, actually, the way I cook, I was taught by my grandmother and my mother, and it was more about the experience. You were there, Can you cheer. watched, you did, but there were nothing. There was nothing on paper. There was never a measuring spoon or, or any kind of thing like that. You were <laughs> cooking by experience, and some of those stories and some of those things that you, the way you learn to do things, it might not be right all the time. I don't even care because that's just the way I cook. So what I actually had to do when I was making this recipe video is I actually had to to put it together one ingredient at a time with what I would put in and then take that out and measure it because to get it on paper. Right. Because I've never once done that. I, I, I know how to make it, but it's in here. It's not on paper. So now it's on paper. But and here's the funny thing, because when it comes to recipes, he never reads the directions and never. follows the recipes. No, but you I love my meatballs, do. you know? I do. I mean, things like that. So that I mean, sounds really yummy. Yeah. But when it comes to anything else, he reads the directions from front to back, and he will go each step by step, except for when he's cooking. Yeah, cooking is just a totally different animal for me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm a wild child when it comes to that. That's just the way I cook. You're my wild I've child. Always, that's always the way I've cooked. You know, yeah. little of this, little of that, throw some more of that in, taste it. A little more of this, you know, that's right. the way I cook. But I was actually able to, um, it took me two times to mm -hmm. figure out exactly, because I know what I do. And I, you know, 20 shakes of this and 10 shakes of this. So I knew it was like half of this and half, of, you know, double of that and half of this. But I didn't know it on something to translate yeah. on paper. But I do now. And, uh, and I did it once. And I'm like, oh, I did something a little weird here. And I redid it again. And I realized what I for, I actually forgot two things that I put in. And sometimes, you know, it's uh, it's flexible. If, if you don't have garlic powder, if you don't have, you know, swerve brown sugar, right. I would normally just throw something different in, you know, swerve granulated sugar, the white, you know, or something like that. I'm not real picky. But, but for I'm this sure. recipe, I wanted it the way that I like it the most. So, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty simple, but hopefully you guys will dig it. So other than that, um, I'm going to try and get that out for tomorrow, which is Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, you will see us next week, and hopefully we can get Stacy coming back down, and me, of course, continuing my downward trend. Yes. Um, I've started a couple new medicines I'm a little nervous about from the gastrointestinal stuff that I've been having going on. Um, I'm always nervous when I take a new medicine because I'm worried that it may affect me somehow in terms of weight. Um, definitely affecting me in terms of the way my stomach feels. Yeah. It kind of hurts. It's, it's not feeling so great. He said, give it two weeks. So I'm going to give it two weeks. Um, he gave me some samples, so I didn't even have to go fill the medicine. I could right. take that was two nice. weeks of samples and try that. Um, I'm not liking it, <laughs> but it'll be what it'll be. So, um, gosh, is that it? Are we signing out? That's it. That's it. So uh, you will see us next week. And you will hopefully see me tomorrow with that little chicken spice rub recipe thing that I do. He's um, going to be on camera this time. Yeah, I'm not real excited about that part. Stacey's going to be behind the camera and I'm going to be telling her, okay, now pan up, pan down or whatever. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll share that with you guys. Uh, chicken's a big staple of, of my keto. Uh, I tend to meal prep, so I'll do six to eight pieces. And that will give me a couple days worth of uh, meals. Mm -hmm. And um, and I mix it up, too. You'll see in the video. I don't always make them exactly the same. I put some things on one, some nothing on the other, and then something else on something else. So, yeah. yeah. But I'll show you what I do. And uh, it's yummy. I enjoy it. And I like chicken thighs, by the way. Yeah. I'm a thigh man. Not me. I'm a... No. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> but what are you? 
I like boneless, skinless chicken breast. Yeah, Stacy's Stacy's a denier. She doesn't want to admit that it's chicken on the bone and it came from an animal. She just wants it all fancy and cut up and cubed and nothing to do with being an animal. No. But then she'll eat it. Right. And that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Costco sells it in that pack. In that pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's all chopped up. It's already cooked. Everything. You just toss it in and put some Alfredo in it or something. Yeah, absolutely. Broccoli and Alfredo. Broccoli and Alfredo. That's going to be a my lunch today. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for checking in with us. And uh, you will see us next week, of course, every single week. 32 weeks now. We've yeah. not missed a single one. Even when we were out of town, we didn't miss. No. No, no. we still did it. I did it mobile. You did it mobile, too. I think, well, in August, we'll have to do a mobile In August, we might Florida. have to do one from Florida. Yeah, because yes. we're going to be down in Florida. Yep. And then in November, I don't know if we're going to have internet access, but in November, we're going on a little cruise. So we will have a Saturday or two that falls when we're not home. Right. But we will try and stick with that, too. Gosh, I don't know what's going to happen for the cruise. Is that a reset week or something? It's got to be a know. reset week. I don't want all the desserts and stuff, but, man, it's hard. Yeah. Hard to make those life decisions, you know? I don't know. Right. I don't have any problem with Florida. I'll just eat chicken and basic right. veggies. Because we're going to go to the grocery store, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. But the cruise, oh, it's, it's a little different. Hard. Although, for, Although, I think got, for the most part, you know, i definitely going to have a roll or two at dinner, the pumpkin mm -hmm. seed roll. I don't think they have that anymore. I, I don't know. So. Well, it's been a couple of years since we went. But, uh, yeah, if nothing else, there's the buffet and there's always bacon and eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. Thanks again. See and we later. will see you next week. Bye.